Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Frechette. Well, we've been on a bit of a temperature roller coaster these past few days. We had a couple days in the 40s going up, and now we're going to crash back down into the 20s. We'll show you how it all plays out in just a second. But first, a look at your current temperatures. Again, 39 in Burlington, 38 Middlebury, 37 St. Johnsbury. Not too bad, but this is going to be the warmest temperatures you'll see at least through the rest of the week because we have some westerly winds today. That'll bring some colder air into the region. Check it out. They're pretty strong right now. 36 is what we're gusting to in Burlington, 33 in Montpelier, where we actually saw gusts in the mid 40s earlier today and a general 20 to 30 mile per hour gusting range across the region right now. That's why we have these wind advisories in effect, mainly for areas downwind of the greens and Adirondacks where we could see winds gusting up to 50 miles per hour at times in the early afternoon. So be aware of that if you plan on heading out today. Also, some winter weather advisories still in effect through the early afternoon in parts of northern New York. That's for the snow that has started falling last night and is still falling this morning. Here's a look at Storm Tracker. Still some light snow in northern Vermont and New York. Perhaps a few snowflakes starting to work into the region, uh, southern Vermont or along the Route 7 corridor. But we're going to see some upslope snow through the rest of the day from these uh, northwest winds that are working in behind that storm that came through yesterday. And those winds, as I mentioned, are going to bring temperatures way down through the rest of the day today. Check it out. We go from the 30s this morning all the way into the mid-20s by the time we get into the 8 o'clock range tonight. And those westerly winds hanging tough throughout the entire day. We'll show you how those winds pan out through the rest of your Sunday here on future wind gusts. Taking you through the rest of the afternoon, notice the bright colors still indicating some higher gust potential downwind of the greens and the Adirondacks. And these winds hang tough all the way through early Monday, and then they start to taper off as we get into Monday morning. Now that's going to bring the wind chills down quite a bit too. We're talking teens for the Champlain Valley tonight, zero in Saranac Lake, and perhaps a few spots below zero like Newport, forecast at four below. Yeah, that's gonna be quite the change from the past couple of days here. We'll show you how the snow pans out on future cast here. Again, generally confined to the northern part of the state early and then upslope snow as we head into the afternoon hours along the spines of the Adirondacks and the greens. Now, as we head into Monday, we clear out pretty nicely and we should start the day off with a bit of sunshine. And we're not expecting a lot of accumulation in the valleys where you might get a coating if a snow shower comes through. But generally, the accumulations are going to be confined to the western uh, slopes of the greens and Adirondacks, where we could see up to six inches at places like Jay Peak. Do want to let you know about a storm moving in on Tuesday. This is 8 o'clock in the morning, some light snow in southern Vermont, and that comes north as we head into the, uh, into the early afternoon. Now, the trend has been for this to become for suppressed further south, so we may see an inch or two in the Burlington area, perhaps up to a half foot in southern Vermont. Regardless, it's out of our hair by Tuesday night. We'll keep a close watch on that for you here at NBC5. And then we continue with some snow showers on Wednesday, and then it turns mighty cold on Thursday. Look at that, high in the teens, and we remain colder than normal all the way through next weekend. And just a quick reminder to set your DVR for Wednesday at 8 p.m. NBC5's first alert weather winter outlook will air. We'll take a look at fun ways to embrace the snow and cold and also get a glimpse at how the weather may pan out this winter. Again, that's this coming Wednesday at 8 p.m.